man. YouTube, check this shit out. I'm about to make a quick video for y'all, man. Show y'all how shit go down out here. And you know, how I got fucked in the load. Shit. I'm gonna slip and trip on my ass. How they wasn't trying to fucking help me. Well, the broker wasn't trying to help me. He wasn't trying to help me uh, figure out what to do with this load. Because, uh, let me tell y'all. I called Lance Star Customer Service in a minute. So what happened was, I picked up the load. I picked up the load fucking uh, yesterday. I got unloaded. I mean, it took them five. Man, I, it took them like six hours to load me pretty much. So, once they loaded me, I hauled ass. But my clock was all fucked up. So I was like pretty much racing, trying to get to, he was racing against, I wasn't racing like Speed Demon racing, I was racing like against my clock racing, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, fuck, damn dog, like, so I'm like, this load gonna be late. I told me the load gonna be late. So what happened was when I pulled up at 10 a.m., which the load was due at 5 a.m., um, I talked to the guy in the inside office and he said, man, we don't have any spots. They had a plenty of open doors. Let me remind you, the um, the load was, um, I was unloading myself. It was a hand unload. So I had, I had, I went to Walmart, bought me a little dolly, a bunch of boxes. I was going to have to like wheel them, off, wheel them off myself. No big deal. Cool. Whatever. Sometimes I, I had to put my hands on shit. Now I'm mine. Whatever. So, um. When I get there, like, yeah, you late, man. You got to reschedule. I'm like, okay, cool, whatever. Um, Y'all got open for tomorrow morning, you know, with the, with the, with whatever. He said, man, let me call, we can call, whatever. I'm like, nah, man, we ain't gonna be able to get you in till, till Tuesday, man. And it's, this is Wednesday. I say, Tuesday? Tuesday of next week? I say, nah, I can't sit on this. This, this load going back to, going uh, back to watch your I ain't sitting on this till the end, so I called the broker. I say, man, I got here late. They told me no appointments open to Tuesday. He said, all right, let me see what I can do. And he's like, oh, he called, he called me back. He said, man, the best they can try to do, they're going to try to work you in. And I knew it was bullshitting because they told me already that they weren't going to be able to get me in until Tuesday. I'm like, damn, that's a week from now. That's six days. I can make, I can, in, that, in six days, I can net fucking $2,500. You know what I'm saying? Or better. So I'm like, nah, I can't sell this shit till Tuesday. I'm taking this shit back. Like, so I told him, I said, man, uh, I can't sit on this till Tuesday. Man, whatever you gotta do, if you can give me some attention pay, you can pay me to sit on it. They weren't offering nothing. So this is cheap ass paper cups and styrofoam bowls and all that shit, you know what I'm saying? So they weren't cheap. They weren't gonna pay that for no cheap ass load. It wasn't that cheap, but it was, it paid good, but it didn't pay good enough to sit on that bitch for six days. You know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, I'm like, whoa. Uh, I'm like, whoa, man. So, then he hit me back with an email at 12, 1 o'clock. He said, man, I tried everything I can. They're not going to be able to unload you, man. They're not going to be able to get you in until Tuesday. I'm sorry, man. I'm like, okay, whatever. This shit going back to where it came from. If they don't take it back, I'm dumping this shit off my truck. They can charge me. Then start controlling me, I don't give a fuck. I didn't give a fuck at that point. You know what I'm saying? So I'm I'm pissed. I'm pissed, but I'm not pissed. I'm I'm more frustrated than anything. I'm like, I'm not even frustrated. I'm just feeling some type of way. Like, nah, y'all got me all kind of fucked up. Y'all think y'all finna get one over on me and me I'm finna sit? Not happening. Not today. Sound a little stuffy, I'm catching a little cold, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but anyways, might be the cooties or something. <laughs> but um uh, so yeah, man, I got I got I got jammed on this load. I got jammed big time. So I called uh I called the uh, the shipper myself. I talked to the shipper uh the supervisor. I say, man, look, I got here late to deliver this load. They telling me I can't I can't deliver it till Tuesday. Now I'm not finna do this load till Tuesday. I'm coming back to y'all and you make some phone calls to see when y'all I can I can I can get a door so y'all can unload this 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 stuff off my truck. I, I said stuff, I didn't say shit. But yeah, I'll unload this stuff off my truck. Gotta be nice sometime. So I'm like, okay. I'm like, yeah, man, give me a call back in 15, 20 minutes. I gave him a couple hours because I wanted to you know, give him time to, you know, 
but shit to, uh, you know, marinate, you know what I'm saying? So the situation marinated, we, 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 we'll call back in a couple hours. I'm like, hey, man, if Antoine, I want to give you a little extra time. though. you probably went on lunch with you with the book, but I'm not, whatever. I'm like, hey, man, uh, I'm like, hey, man, uh, 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 uh. So he's like, yeah, man, just bring it back with 24-hour facility, with the, with the book. I wanted to bring it back last night. So I was like, nah, I'm going to go back during business hours because if they have a confusion or they don't know what the fuck going on, all they got to do is send an email, make a quick phone call, you know what I'm saying, and boom, situation solved, problem solved. And uh, so, so yeah, man, that's what happened with that. Uh, Cause I got back here today. You know, like, I won't see no emails. Won't know what's going on. Let me call uh, corporate. Doo -doo -doo -doo. So they call corporate and da da da. They got the shit situated. So they gonna unload the shit, man. Long story short, I got jammed on the load. So the shipper took five, six hours to load me. You know what I'm saying? And, and I get the, my clock all scrambled up. You know what I'm saying? So I get to Houston. I can't even. I can't make the on time delivery. Period. So who fault is it? Is it my fault? Is it broker fault? Is it shipper fault? I blame the shipper. But you know what? It all falls back on the driver. They're gonna be like, oh, he, he bad clock management. Oh, that's the driver. What do you do? Nah, bullshit. That's the motherfucking shipper, dog. The shipper, man. So I say that to say this. Oh, uh, man. I say that to say this, like. How can you, shit happen, man. I say that to say shit, man, because the shit happens. This is the industry we in, and it's always going to be some shit, no matter what. No matter how hard you try not to step in shit, you're going to step in shit, period. It's just, that's, just, that's just the nature of the game, nature of the business. You're going to step in shit. And when you step in shit, ain't shit you can do about it. But wipe the shit off and keep on moving and try to figure the shit out. So right now, I'm about to get off this video, and uh, I'm going to call uh, Landstar Customer Service. Let them know what's going on. If I call them, I'm gonna call a broker because he don't even know that I'm back here yet because he act like he, he couldn't help me or couldn't do shit about it. So, I'm gonna call uh, Landstar Customer Service and let them know what's going on and see what they think I should do because I'm gonna have, the shit, the shit is done. It's getting off my truck today. It, it's, it gotta get gone, you know what I'm saying? So, to the next video, I'm, I'm, I'm out I'm, I'm out here, man. It's Bridge Hill Wheel, man, I'm out. Peace.